Hello, uh, I'm Jawad Hussain. I'm the Executive Medical Director at East Lanx. As you all are probably hearing in the national news, uh, there is going to be a change in the restrictions uh, we had over the last few years and things will be different in regards to COVID management out in the community. Uh, however, a bit of word of caution that whilst it is not expected to self-isolate if an individual is diagnosed with COVID, it would be worth a while considering the implications of going around and moving very freely in the community and office and shopping places with COVID because you can potentially then transmit to especially the vulnerable individuals out there. In hospitals, you still will be following strict IPC rules. Uh, the masks will have to be uh, worn while you are in. Uh, we are continuing with um, regular checking of COVID, and that is by a test called NAM test. It's similar to lateral flow, but it's a different form. But individuals who come to work in the organization take that test regularly to ensure that they are not transmitting the virus to our patients and for that matter to our colleagues. So uh, just a word of caution there that please uh, use your judgment and act sensibly. In regards to A&E and urgent care centers, uh, unfortunately the pressures are still very, very high. Uh, we still see a lot of patients uh, in these places, which then results in delays. Uh, we have got an ED streaming service. Uh, we have successfully implemented that in Burnley. Uh, and last week, we started that in Blackburn. That will definitely help in streaming the patient to the right source where they can be seen in a timely manner. However, there are still long delays and I would encourage that you use other methods of attending to your ailments before considering to uh, come to A&E. There was a white paper published by the government on health and social care integration. Uh, this is again working towards delivering population health uh, and will be co close collaboration between the providers in the community. So just not the health sector, but our community, voluntary sector, independent sector. Uh, the aim of that is again to improve the health of our population and thereby supporting them and reducing the burdens on hospitals uh, and provide healthy living. Finally, uh, Storm Franklin has been battering the Northwest in particular. So please be careful, uh, look after yourself, uh, be mindful of the flying debris, the rain, protect yourself. And if you have a hospital appointment, we can assure you that hospital is working as usual. Do keep your appointments, but for some reason, if you can't, then let us know so that we can cancel and give the appointment to another individual who may be waiting in the queue for that. Uh, so on that note, uh, I'll bring the uh, update of today to a closure. We are moving to a weekly updates from next week, uh, and I'll give you a bit more on our works on Elangs, which is a uh, electronic integration of all the processes into the working of the hospital. Uh, till then, look after yourself. Bye for now.